We just take took these, let them sit for about five hours, let them rise. We're going to cut each of these in half and stretch them apart and tie them in a knot. We'll show you what happens next. All right, so I'm taking each of these and putting them in half, okay? Okay. And then you're just tying a knot, and that's it. Putting it on a cookie sheet. They don't have to be perfect. You just, this is, this row, this row is pretty good. Take it in half. They will stick. I did not flour my hands or grease them or anything like that. Just kind of make a snake with it. Don't be afraid of it. And you just kind of do that. We've got the butter melting. That's real butter. And we've got several cloves of garlic. Is that just four in there? Mm -hmm. We're going to need to double that. Careful that orange thing will come out. We've got our fresh parsley from our garden all chopped up. We're going to chop this up even more um, and then put that in there. And I believe it said salt. We need salt also. So, um, and then we're basically going to boil the garlic with the parsley and the butter to take the edge off the garlic, the strong part off the garlic. The rolls are, we put them in a knot. And then we went ahead and uh, put it in the oven 400 for 10 minutes, and then we're going to check on it. We just want those a little bit tan. And we're going to take them out, spread the stuff that's on the um, spread the stuff that is in the pan on top of it, some of it, and then um, bake it for a couple more minutes, just to enough to wilt the parsley and get it all married together. And then um, and then we're going to put it all in a bowl. And I've also made some New York strip steaks, and we're having green beans, and that's what we're having for dinner tonight. Okay, push stop. <laughs> 